Hello, my beautiful globetrotters. I wanted to ask you a question. Did you grow up riding horses? So I can imagine like you have a childhood memories of like double dinking your pony, your bareback, Sunday mornings in your beige jodhpurs, doing troop drill at pony club. Um, and then you grew up and you went on one path and horses went on another path. Adulting happened, life happened, and horses, um, just weren't in your everyday life. And your days of horse riding became distant and non-existent where you've promised yourself time and time again that you'll return to riding, but you never did. That's so okay. So many of our globetrotters have had a lengthy hiatus out of the saddle and they have since returned to the saddle thanks to one of our rides, which is so cool. Question, when was the last time that you were in the saddle? And have you like been lurking on our website, looking at rides for some time now? Like thinking, should I book, should I not book? And your mental dialogue may go something like this. I need to get saddle fit before I book a ride. I've lost my confidence. I haven't ridden since I was a kid. I don't wanna hold other riders back. I get it. These are all, all justified concerns. And look, we do have some rides that you need to prepare for. Like think Morocco. Iceland, Mongolia, Kenya, Botswana. For those rides, you need to be riding fit and confident in the saddle, but, there's a but. We have other rides that are specifically for you. What I like to call return to the saddle rides. Do you like that? These are rides that have just the right amount of hours in the saddle and just the right amount of off the horse comforts. Perfect, well-mannered guest horses that bolster your confidence and perfect guides to nurture your return to the saddle. With that said, don't think that these rides will be nose to tail experiences. I mean, that's just not what we do. All, our, all of our return to the saddle rides are for a range of abilities. And yes, you'll be able to trot and canter if you so wish or not. That's the beauty of these specific rides. Our super duper amazing ride partners can split the riding group according to ability, confidence, you name it. So at the risk of prattling on, here are my recommended return to the saddle rides in Australia, Europe and the USA. So you can take your bit pick no matter where in the world you are. So firstly, the Rainbow Beach Bush and Cattle Ride in Queensland, Australia. So the beauty of working cattle on horseback is that it takes you out of your head. So you tend not to overthink and your instinct and muscle memory kicks in you're gonna squeal, literally squeal in delight as you muster cattle or learn to camp draft or swim your horse bareback in the ocean. I promise you this, it's the perfect itinerary for those keen to satisfy their inner jillaroo or jackaroo while being nurtured on really calm and responsive horses. The other one is in America, which is a great return to the saddle ride, Shell, Wyoming, USA. Now this ranch is perfect platform for out of the shape, not so confident riders and riders who are keen to upskill, perhaps master that canter, or should I say loop. Why? Because the guest, the guide per guest ratio, you'll never be in a group of more than six and groups are coordinated according to riding ability. As I said, it's perfect. Not only that, as your ability and confidence level progresses throughout the week, you can request more challenging rides, which I love. The flexibility is so fantastic on this ride. Now to Europe. So you can't look further than our castle and estate ride in Ireland. This ride is absolutely perfect because of its flexibility and access to cracking Irish teachers, both flat work, jumping and cross country. You can sign up as a solo or sign up as a family or sign up with girlfriends. I mean, whether you're keen to get the basics down pat or now you're sitting trot or maybe even start jumping, the instructors are seriously amazing. And with three hours of riding a day broken up into estate rides, flat work and jumping, there is plenty of out of the saddle time to visit the local village, which has a chocolate shop. PS. So this is a great ride also for our American clients who are used to riding in a Western saddle and want to learn English style.
Now the other amazing return to the saddle ride is our Thirlstain Castle ride in Scotland. Be still my beating heart. This is literally our newest ride departure in Scotland and it's sold out within 10 days of release. I love the rhythm of this ride where you'll not only go on cracking trail rides with no more than five hours in the saddle daily, you'll be staying in a 16th century castle. So you'll have plenty of time to explore this incredible castle during the week and have ample opportunities to potter around the border villages, which is just near the castle. And then there's another ride in Europe that also is perfect, which is our train and trail ride in Andalusia, Spain, which has the perfect blend of dressage training and trail riding. I love that you not only return to the saddle on this ride, enjoy the trail riding, think olive groves, wildflower meadows, riding on the beach, you also get to learn dressage on schoolmaster horses. I mean, you couldn't get a better ride to cement the foundation work in the arena on schoolmaster horses and then have the fun and freedom of going on trail rides. It's literally the perfect balance and a really good price as well. So I think the message here is don't wait to become a better rider before you book a riding holiday. Become a better rider on a riding holiday. Does that make sense? Sense. So rather than signing up for a lesson every week where you incrementally improve, I feel the better option is, is to return to the saddle with an immersive six-day riding holiday where your ability and your confidence will skyrocket as you will have consistent hours in the saddle over consecutive days on safe schoolmaster horses with phenomenal guides. So there you have it, Globetrotters. Thanks for listening and we can't wait to welcome you in the saddle soon.